Sometimes life lets you down, and you feel that you are done. You just want a morning run because the fun is so gone. But sometimes life makes you proud when you look far and wide, when you leave the pain behind and see the brighter side. T N C gives you inspiration. T N C. Your passion, TNC, starts your transformation. TNC helps you see the new you. The new channel. The new channel. The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following show are those of the hosts, producers, guests, and viewers. They do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to the new channel. We are here to help you see the new you. My name is Carmine Ortega, and this is U Turn. Good Thursday morning, U-Turners. Today is a beautiful day here in Metro Manila, specifically Marikina, where I'm streaming from. I hope you guys are having a good day also wherever you are. So please let us know where you're watching from by leaving it in the comment section. Or we'd like to know where our viewers are watching from. Ayan. Okay. Yes, you are watching us live. We stream live. You turn on the new channel streams live every Mondays and Thursdays at 1030 in the morning. We're live on Facebook and just recently we're also live on YouTube. So please take note to uh, like and subscribe. Diba? Sabi nga ng mga vloggers, ng mga YouTubers, like and subscribe. <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> okay. Sige. Ayan. Sir. Juan Lu Lunaria is watching from Antipolo City. Ayan na, nagpapasukan ang kanilang mga comments. Hello, Juan Lu. How are you? I hope you enjoy the show. I think extra ka dito mamaya. We have a little segment that shows you and Nicolo. Um, Juan Lu is one of the hosts of our show, shows here on the new channel. Um, Jonna Lynn Sutito Dizon is watching from Atlanta, Georgia. Good morning to you all. Southern John de Baso, it should say. Y'all <laughs> watching from Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you very much for watching our show. Ayan. Okay. I also want to greet a good friend of mine, Mark A. Santos. Happy birthday to you. Welcome to the club daw, sabi ni Vinci Larang. So, ano ba yung ibig sabihin nun? Milestone birthday ba? Hindi ko nasasabihin ko anong milestone yun. Pero welcome to the club. And happy, happy birthday to you. I hope you have a good day, a good time celebrating. And I hope you have many more birthdays to come. All right. Okay. So right now, what I'd like to do is to share with you our uh, quote for the day. Okay. So today's quote, you will see it flashed on the screen, but I will start saying it na rin, no? Tagalog for the first time. And I'm sorry pa sa mga na offend no? First time ko mag-share ng Tagalog na, na quote. Pero, you know, it doesn't matter. Um as long as there's substance to the quote and it's meaningful, especially related sa ating guest or topic, I, I like featuring quotes. Alam niyo yan. Okay, so today's quote is by no less than Jose Rizal. Okay, I know it's not Rizal Day. I know it's not Independence Day. It's not even his birthday. But um, because of the theme, later I'll explain, no? 
I, I decided to feature this quote. His quote goes, Ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa paroroonan. Ulit, ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa paroroonan. That's by Jose Rizal, our national hero. Okay? Alright, so I'd like to share my uh, take on this quote. The obvious, the obvious uh, interpretation is, hindi ka marunong magpasalamat sa mga tumulong sa iyo kaya ka nakarating diyan sa kung nasaan ka ngayon no hindi ka pa makaka-advance lalo hindi ka magpo-progress lalo so so that's the common interpretation pero to me i and maybe it comes with age then ano to me the interpretation is we should learn from our past you know it's as simple as that we should learn from our past the reason why we go through certain experiences, even whether you're an individual okay, or an entire nation like the Philippines, the reason why we keep going through an experience is we have not learned our lesson. We have not learned a lesson well enough to apply it to effect change. Okay, Sorry, seryoso. No, but I feel strongly about this. Now, maraming bagay na pwede pala tayong baguhin sa sarili natin or sa community natin na kaya na Eh, kaya hindi nagbabago yung sitwasyon kasi pare-pareho pa rin yung ginagawa natin. No? Somebody said insanity is expecting different results while doing nothing different. Yun, may nagsabi rin noon. So, yun, that's, that's how I see this. no We look back to our past, not just to watch it na parang nanood lang tayo ng sine or ng, ng, ng TV. We look back because there's something to learn. We are here today because of some decisions we made yesterday. We will be where we are tomorrow because of things that we did today. So yan ang sarili kong interpretation. <laughs> and I'm curious to, to see what your own interpretations are. Okay, so please leave them in the comment section. We would like to hear them. And that's also the reason why I have this quote is because I like for my viewers, our viewers, to be thinking also. Hindi lang yung entertainment lang. You may take away talaga. And what else should you do? Kasi may gift itong kasama, okay? Um, if you interpret our, our quote and if you share our live stream, you could be the recipient of this item. We This is our giveaway for today. I'm actually using it. Pero of course, what we're giving away is a brand new item, okay? So, I am giving away a ring light. Ayan. So, it's a desktop ring light. Ayan. Ganda, di ba? Tingnan nyo naman. Ang ganda ng lighting ko. <laughs> okay. So, that's what we are giving away. If you share our live stream and leave your interpretation of our quote in the comment section, you could win that. You could receive that. And when you leave your interpretation, please make sure you're leaving it in the main live stream. Kasi baka nagwa-watch party kayo, no? Don't leave your interpretation there sa watch party. It has to be in the main live stream. So please go to TNC Now, Facebook, TNC Now, okay? And then uh, as the show is ongoing, you will you will see it there. It's, it's right there on top. Leave the interpretation there. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, let us see. Meron pang, ayan, nag-comment ulit si Jonalyn. Sabi niya, y'all. <laughs> Very true po yan. Sa, sa, sa southern areas in the U.S., madalas na, na shorten yung you all sa y'all. And then Natog Bayani is saying, I should join this group. I'm also a student of history, being a political science major. Hi, Nato. Okay, ayan, may clue na si Nato Agbayani tungkol sa ating guest at saka sa ating pag-uusapan. At hindi ko na patatal, patatagalin, okay? So, um, our guest is a founder of this Facebook group. This Facebook group is 26,000 strong, no? Meron 26,000 uh, followers ito. And uh, to introduce her, to introduce her, we will play this video. Malalaman niyo kung tungkol saan yung, yung uh, kanyang group. So, let's have our video, please. Ang Oni and the Philippines ay superkwela Going through pastikadas Like a big bagada We don't run out of things to share Sabi na para mas masaya Oni and 
Something in the Thunder Beats Something in the Thunder Beats Something in the Thunder Beats Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Ms. Rina Estrella Gustilo. Hi there! Kumusta na, Hi. Carmine? Good morning and good evening. Rina is streaming all the way from Minnesota. Okay, Minnesota <laughs> in the U.S. Uh -oh. Welcome, welcome to the show. Why don't you say hi to our uh, viewers and especially members of the Facebook group? only in the philippines yes hello everybody i hope you enjoyed the show and get to know more about only in the philippines only in the philippines talaga um it's a group that focuses on the richness of our country both history and what some things that we forget that exist in our country that's really good you know so i'm quite excited um to have this chat with carmine so thank mm -hmm. you for having me here i appreciate it and thank you for agreeing to guest here. Oh, no, it was, it's an honor to be here. No, thank you so oh. much. And by the way, we'd like to give credit to Mr. Juan Lulu Naria. I met Rina through Juan Lulu. So, yes. Juan Lulu and Nicolo, thank you very much. <laughs> Ayan nga, may greeting nga siya, sabi niya, ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan, baka po may stiff neck. Thundering <laughs> 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 light, please. <laughs> And the, the the video that we showed actually showed the uh, one Lu with Nicolo, no? Yes. Dolphy pa nga. Yes, yes. Because he's a he's been there since almost since the start, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's uh again another unique quality of the country. It's not easy to be oh. a puppeteer, no? So oh. and he's very, very good in that arena. So, you know. Oh. Yeah. Right. Um, balikan natin sandali yung ano yung yung video. The video actually was created because of the jingle, tama? Yes, the jingle was um composed by a member of ours and also a cousin of mine. Her name is Mary Vic Estrella Concepcion, and the keyboard action was by her husband Henry Concepcion. They perform in San Francisco regularly, and um. And she really went out of her way to compose because we it's a we wanted something different about our group because there are other Philippine related groups on Facebook, but we want something that would make our to show the uniqueness of our group because it's pare pareho lahat. No, we're not a generic group. I want to make that clear. So there, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very lively and energetic. Nga. At as, ako personally, no, natuwa ako seeing. Familiar, other familiar faces, of course, aside from Wando and Dolphy, there was Palito. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Tapos merong uh, photo of uh, old Ayala Avenue. Oh, alam yes. alam naman. <laughs> Mga bata siguro hindi marirecognize yun, no? Pero may Ayala Avenue po doon sa, sa video na yun. You will see what, uh, I don't know what it's called now, pero it was Insular Life Building. building. Yeah. No, it's, uh, we, we just uh, put together pictures from the past and a few decades ago, anything to do with uh, the Philippines in general, oh. you know. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, Rina, tell us a little bit about, you know, the beginnings of, of the group. When did you establish this? We established a group. I mean, officially, it's, it got started January of last year, uh, 2019. So, it Before, hasn't even been two years. No. One and a half lang. Yeah, um, we did start it overnight. Prior to, to starting the group, we really did a thorough, um, number one, we put together all the lessons we learned because we were uh, moderators and administrators of other FP groups in the past. No? And parang may kulang eh, hindi nag-fit sa kung ano yung hinahanap namin personally, tsaka kung yung ano, feeling namin na kailangan sa group. No? So we had we the three of us. It was me, Jing Sian, and and um, Jose Villanueva. I call him Archangel because that's his middle we, name, no? Archangel Villanueva. We have, we have photos of them. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, these are your. Um, yeah, they right they're from the start. They've been with you. You established the group, but they've been with you since day one. Yes, yes. Can you um, have their photo, please? So they've been um, 
they've been with me since day one. Talagang, pero we met, we all have different experiences, Facebook experience. So, so ang maganda, broad, you know? So we mm -hmm. put together all the lessons we learned and the items that we want to add. Na kulang, mm -hmm. hindi namin, parang kasi parang kang kumakain, hindi kompleto yung spices. <laughs> parang right. Right. So we put everything together and then we started the group and we I thought know. of the name only in the philippines because we want to feature things that can only that makes the country unique and different from other okay. nations yeah so, so unique things yeah and then this is the current wall cover Who yes wall cover yeah the, that was covered that was painted by uh jojo a, a, a painter from the philippines and mm -hmm. he went out of his way to he's he's known for jeepney oil paintings mm -hmm. and so he made that for us what i like is that the members are participating they have a sense of ownership you know right. so they can, i mean one of them composed the jingle and then now the, this was created from scratch in a canvas pa uh, from uh, in the philippines by an artist and mm -hmm. um i mean that really is i i love that because everyone has a sense of ownership so parang it makes everyone be on the lookout and help add more to the group, uh, you know. So th that's one of the unique quality of our group. We don't take anyone for granted, you know, and we get so, to know them. At saka across, of course, across um, regions, across all ages <laughs> and, and, and industries even and markets. Somehow. Yes, yes. So it's really vast and... Um, that's why we we feature a lot of stuff about the Philippines. We're not just focused on old Philippines or just the current Philip. It's a mix, and at the same time, we also crack jokes. Because I know I notice mga Pinoy still like laughing a lot, you know. <laughs> and um, uh -oh. so it's good. It's a, a place where people can relax and reminisce together. What I like is when you post something from the seventies. Ayana nonstop yung chat. They share seventy stories from flared pants to you know mm -hmm. Afro hairstyle in here. So we all end up laughing together, and you know. Traveling back in time together, which right. is, which is really I think special. You know, it makes a group special. How did it grow to be this big? Like, ang, ang laking ano no, no, ang laking accomplishment na twenty six thousand in less than two years. You know that I don't know. Um, all I know is we were never after the quantity of members. We never talked about having X number of members. What right. we were after more than anything is the quality. And that's what we focused on. And I guess people started inviting. Because I always tell them, invite more. Because when you invite, when you invite more, you add more the barcada flavor. Because they start chatting. Then others now join in. So that's what we wanted, you know. You mm -hmm. somehow magkakaibigan or magkakamag-anak there so that they can all chat together. And then I notice it grows, you know. Mm -hmm. So I love that. I really, really like uh -oh. it a lot. You know. So yeah, well, I suppose I think you mentioned kanina no na pag lalo na pag seventies yung 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 panahon ng photo na <laughs> or, for example, maraming yeah. nag nag chime in. Because I think a lot of people who are on Facebook who are online, you know, were kids back then or grown ups na yes. sila. Pero you know the much older uh, people like our my mom, for example, she's not on Facebook always. Um, so, so what I'm saying is, maraming Facebook citizens ang buhay na buhay na talaga noong ano. <laughs> no. Marami, you know what's nice? And what I like is even the younger generation want to learn. So they ask questions. And, nice. they, and they all participate. They answered like this one recently. This one's kind of I, I was amazed. No, a foreigner, a foreign member who's considering moving to the Philippines joined the group, mm -hmm. and she posted a question about, um, you know, what, what would you recommend? You know, apa hundreds of sumagot, and they had different <laughs> different um, comments to put in. They were not identical, but it. If I were that lady who's considering moving, it would make it would broaden my you know everything. It would make me now think and consider some stuff that were mentioned there. So mm -hmm. I, that's one I really really like, you know. And then mm -hmm. we have we have some members who are for, we have a lot of foreign members 
who whose um, ancestors lived in the Philippines. In the past, we had so many foreigners living in our in our country. Like when Escolta opened, the studio photo studios were owned by mostly Europeans, you know, from France, from England, and so they want to know more about how their great grandparents lived in the Philippines. So they join, and what I like is everyone adds more to the cuento. It's not just you know. Not just me answering the questions, and I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have a question. Teka, wait, ah. Merong nag-comment, eh. Ayan, si Nato Agbayani, siya yung history uh, major. Uh, he's watching from Quezon City. He's also saying, my high school history teacher once said, ang kasaysayan ay ang susi siya kinabukasan. Jo join yeah, daw siya. So, ah, so, good. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, join. <laughs> we'll welcome you with open arms. <laughs> right. So, um, atras tayo, uh, sandali, uh, even before you established the the group, the Facebook group, where is this coming from? Like, I mean, are you a history buff? Were you a history major? How far back did you, you know, did you first start getting interested in Pinoy stuff? history? You know, yeah. um, my best friend, okay, since third grade, I was already into, even before that, I was really... Like I enjoy watching old movies more than new ones, so I was always yung mga watching. Black and white. Yeah, yung mga L L V N L V N some pagita film. Cinema Rogelio de la Rosa. Ah, and, I know. <laughs> I had a crush on him before, and so, <laughs> and then my best friend was my grandma, mother's side. Her name's Lola Siding. She passed away a few years ago at the age of a hundred and five, and we were very inseparable. So she shared so many stories with me because I think we connected because of my passion for old Philippines. We connect kami talaga kasi parang I can relate to her, all her stories, no? At saka non-stop ang questions ko. Plus I was taking down notes sometimes or recording her on my cassette, you know? <laughs> and um, she helped me even with, when I started collecting, she helped me some. And her sister, Lola Emin, who passed away at the age of 99, also helped. She would always look for old magazines for me or old keys and stuff. So they enjoyed hanging out with me because even though I'm younger than them, parang magkakasiidad lang kami. You know, that's how it felt. <laughs> and um, so I started collecting then. Like I, I have old photos, you know. I keep them all in acid-free, acid-protecting containers to make them last longer. Oh, there's such a thing. Yeah, so that to prevent acid from damaging them more. And I have a collection of old documents. I mean, would you like me to show some? Yes, yes, sure. Yes, please. So, I have a lot, madame. This is just one of 10, and then some are in the bank, you know. But here's one from the 1700s. So you can see it. Can you move it closer to the camera? Uh, yeah. Ganyan, ganyan, yeah. So at least we can see that it's a uh, there's a parang letterhead. Yeah, so you can see. So here are some more. Right. Ayan. Okay. Okay, so, so what are these? So these are old documents. Anything from it's so funny kag pag magbebenta ka ng mga baka mo, kailangan naka-document yun all or lupa, summer, you know, um I mean, iba iba, you know, when you read them it's hard to read them sometimes because the Tagalog is some are a lot of them are in Spanish, but some are in Tagalog, but the spelling is different. Like the word paki, you know, it's P A Q U I. Paki. Right. So right. Major classy, you know, pag, <laughs> when you read it, ibang iba yung Tagalog. What's nice about them, because at that time, wala pang mga typewriters. So they hired calligraphists to write everything in cursive writing, no? And, mm -hmm. um, to make sure they're legal, if you put them against light, they have the watermark of the existing king or queen of Spain. Ang nakakatuwa, when you see the documents from the 1700s and you put it against light, medyo, makikita mo, medyo primitive pa yung watermark, no? But you can see transitioning, gumaganda in time yung watermark. So you see the quality changing also. And it's not a um, bond paper size, you know, document. Mas malaki yung papel nun, and they're all pa kind of like parchment. So... So I, I love, I enjoy, because just by looking at them, parang I'm traveling back in time already. And even if I can't understand everything in full, because I'm just faded in some areas and all, parang just the thought of somebody writing it, you know, and that was how that person was earning a living, you know, it was just amazing. 
Oh, yeah. uh, thank you for showing us those pictures and the documents. We don't see those things every day. And and I think you ha really have to dig deep para makita mo yung maganon and even the back info that, that you mentioned. So since you were in third grade pala, you've been interested in Yeah, this. but syempre third grade, you know, it wasn't much pa kasi I didn't have the money. Pero <laughs> my grandma would always search. I would beg her to search for me and stuff. Eh, kung makikita niya, she, gives, she just ended up giving to me. And my wow. my and her youngest sister Lola M and also did the same, and um, so that was how it got started. But you know what's funny? I never told much people in school because I didn't know how to tell them because they might find me <laughs> odd. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. oh, it's so common for a third grader. <laughs> <laughs> so that was what I was doing that time, and then I um I then as as years went by, it I started going to some auctions or following what's being sold online and and everything. So, pag, pag ka na nanalo ko, para ako naka, ano eh, parang treasure chest, para ako nanalo ng lotto. I feel so good, you know? Ang tawag, ang tawag dyan ng mga kabataan yan when they go shopping and then they uh, come up with a YouTube video about is yung haul nila. Haul as in H-A-U-L. Yung Divisoria haul nila or shopping haul nila. That haul their haul. So that's your haul. That's my haul. And then um, it's interesting because I even have, um, what do you call this? Old letters from the past. And what's interesting, kasi hindi pa invented ng envelopes, no? Right. So they, there was a way that they folded paper you know, before mailing it out. And they used a cello, a wax, and then a cello of their family emblem in it, you know. Just a cello. Yeah. And then they would yeah. mail it out. Ang maganda, you know, the route. Because at that time, especially if you're sending abroad, wala pang planes. So everything was through, you know, Boat. uh, boats, ships. And so, you know, saan dumadaan papuntang United States or papuntang Europe? Saan dumadaan yung letter? Kasi they were all stamped. So it's like you're learning more about the past and everything. And you're you're learning um, at an intimate level. It's like everyday life, de ba? Hindi lang yung kung ano nangyayari sa gobyerno or sa pagsakop ng ganitong bansa, dun sa battle na ganun. It's not just that. It's about the day-to-day -day living. Yeah. Yan, sige. We'll talk some more, okay? We will just go on break. Right now. Welcome back to you turn on the new channel. Okay, so sige, babalik natin ang ating guest, Miss Rina Australia Gustilo. <laughs> At pagpapatuloy natin ang ating usapan, especially um, about uh, uh, her favorite things, okay? Pero before that, let us say hello first to 
Jose Mari Vargas. Um, he was actually one of my uh, trainees. <laughs> and he's watching from Subic along the floor. Okay, I think there's a little bit of an echo. Okay. Hi, Jose. Uh -oh. And also, Josefina Escolim is watching from Illinois. I love it. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, Rina, I will announce pala sa uh, our other shows uh, sa Glet, ha? Okay, so hang in there. Yes. All right, so we'd like to invite you to watch our other shows here on u -turn on the new channel. The Big Picture is about inspiring stories of notable personalities, Mondays to Fridays at 7 p.m. HR Hotline introduces us to the wonderful world of human resources management, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 1 p.m. Have an insightful Saturday afternoon because the family business is everyone's business at 4 p.m. Usapang Beauty is about beauty beyond what your eyes can see, Thursdays and Saturdays at 5.30 p.m. Discover your life purpose. Dito sa ating show, sa U-Turn, alam nyo yan. The home buyer is where you hear remarkable stories about building and owning a property, Mondays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Laugh and learn through the puppet stories with Juan Lulunaria Mondays at 5.30 p.m. Magbenta, bumili, at tumulong dahil bukas na ang TNC Marketplace. It's an online night bazaar, Thursdays and Fridays at 10 p.m. Yo Law is for all of us to appreciate the law and, you know, see that it is also fun and cool. Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Two leaders in one platform in TNC The Talk, Mondays at 12 noon. After Shift is a show about lives after work, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8.30 p.m. Discover and learn strategies on self-leadership to win in life through Win Within, Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. Dream, achieve, nurture, and inspire. Tag your kids along and watch Danny Art Show, Fridays at 5.30 p.m. The world has faced an unprecedented pandemic. It's time to hear positive testimonies straight from those who recovered from the disease. COVID stories on Saturdays at 10.30 a.m. Global issues, common interests, learn together across borders in foreign affairs. Bagong bago. Streams on Tuesdays at 10.30 a.m. Watch and learn about money and more. Streams live from the Philippines and the U.S. Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. Philippine time and 5.30 a.m. Pacific time in the U.S. That's California time. Because health is wealth, Healthline is on Wednesdays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Catch also our TNC original, original shows such as One Day. It's an inspiring 30-minute storytelling and it alternates with TNC Town Hall which is co-hosted by TNC founders, our very own Lloyd and Apple. This is show. This show is where we talk to you, our valued audience, about our shows on TNC. And there will be more coming up. So we're here to truly inspire you and to help you see the new you. Follow us on Facebook and also on YouTube. Ayan. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Rina, for hanging in there. <laughs> No, no problem. No problem. Ayan. Okay, and thank you to to those who just tuned in. Ayan. We will get to know Rina better, especially as far as you know these nostalgia things, uh, history and culture are concerned. So, Rina, we'll play a game real quick. It's called Quick Turn. Okay. Okay. Ayan. We'll play a short a video about it. Ayan. So we call this quick turn because we say right turn if we like the thing that I will say. It's a random thing. Right turn if you like it. Left turn if you don't like it. U turn mm -hmm. if you love it. Okay. I might okay. fail this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. It can be flavors, food, activities, a clothing item. Ganyan. Okay. Okay. Bakya. Like the bakya. The, the footwear. Oh, U turn. You turn, you like the bakya. Okay. Two. The mestiza dress. You turn. You turn, siyempre, di ba? Uh, ito choice. Decada 70s or decada 80s? Hmm, that's hard. Hmm. <laughs> Hindi po pwede in the middle? <laughs> oh, sige. Yung late 70s to early 80s. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, magal, kami pentampo. Okay, from here on, it will be choices, no? Um, pritong lumpia or lumpiang prito or lumpiang seriwa? Seriwa. Seriwa. You like ubod? Yes. Uh oh. How about this? If you could have this for for breakfast tomorrow, which would you choose? Just one. May init na pandesal or bagong lutong bibingka? Pandesal. Nothing pandesal. compares to pandesal for what, me. What do you like? What do you like uh, to go with the pandesal? What I just want it with the um, hot chocolate, the the Filipino hot chocolate. Ah, okay. And then I, I like dipping it there. No, it's so good. Oh, I miss. I'm missing Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Gusto ko sa pandesal kaysong puti. Oh, that one's good too. Pero ewan ko, yung chocolate, walang kaparis for me. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. How about... Um, ito, sige. That, so, the game is over. Kasi ayoko papiliin ka between tricycle or jeep ni sana. Eh. Gusto kitang papiliin. Pero my question now is, if you were to pick an icon for the Philippines, what would that be? What's your favorite Filipino icon? I mean, what do you mean by icon? Like something Fil Philippine related yeah. that I would. Yeah. For example, you were to come up with, um, let's say, merong another Sea Games or another Olympics that will be, let's say, an Olympic uh, event will be held here and you were tasked to come up with a logo for it. What, what element of our culture will you put there? You know, I really, for some reason, I don't know why, I really love some pagitas. Okay. You know, like I look at the flowers here all the time. Nothing compares to some pagitas for me. Because considering how small they are, but the smell is so potent. Mm -mm. Classy, okay. you know? You know, and I'm simple yung itsura niya. Simple, di ba? Simple, simple, pero maganda. Maganda, uh, you know? And, um... I don't know. I've been thinking of some... And, you know, I've been thinking also of makahiyas lately. I don't know why. Even in my dreams, I've been thinking of makahiyas. I don't know why. You know, like when you touch it, it closes, the ba? Oo. Ibang class. My daughter, yeah. my daughter, the first... May, medyo malaki na siya, no, no? Mga siguro 12, ganyan, 13. We went to a park dito sa Rizal province. And then, uh, first time nila maka-actually makahawak at maka-touch ng makahiya. Tapos sabi niya, pag nagkaroon na raw siya ng sarili niyang garden, magtatanim siya ng makahiya. <laughs> I, mean, I don't blame her. I mean, it's really different. Ibang klase. Gumagalaw na plant. Ibang klase. I like it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Sige. Um, I'd like to ask your uh, your thoughts on, on, on this, you know, parang hypothetical questions. If you could go back to a place and time, no, it's not just a time, but also a place in Philippine history to live, no, for let's say a month, ganyan, a year. Which time and place would you choose? You know, a lot of people ask me this question. I, I always give the same answer. It's really okay. 1920s, talaga, the flapper era Philippines. You know, my grandma shared so many amazing stories about the 1920s with me. You know, like, um, how, yeah, and how the guys courted and the way people lived. And ang maganda, during that time, when you go out in the streets, makikita mo lahat ng types ng, ng uh, transportation. You know, they had karomatas, karitelas, karuahes. They had the tranvia system, which is really beautiful. Plus, they had already regular cars that... I love the looks of old Fords and stuff. We had them there in the, all over it. So, lalabas ka, you see all of the, you can even see um, Carabao pulling vehicles also, pulled, you know, Carabao's pulling oh, the carts, cars, you know? Right. So it's like all of them in one street, makikita mo at the same time, which you will never experience nowadays. I would mm -hmm. like to see, even if people say, I'm a bah I don't care, at least, you know, you get to see everything and experience it in all. I would love to experience, especially Escolta in the 1920s. You know, my ma my grandma had so many cuentos about th that era, especially the the Carnival Festival. Have you heard of the Manila Carnival? No. Okay, it was every year. It was a big event. The 
the budget was 50,000 pesos, which was malaki kasi ang bahay lang noon, 400. Eh. You know? So 50,000 pesos for this area. And they had the theme every year, which is like Greek or or um, Japanese, you know, different themes. And they had the Manila Carnival, um, you know, the Miss Carnival contestants from all over. Every pr province had a contestant up there. And they were also wearing the the you know the costumes my grandma said every time she would go she was just a te young teenager at that time in the 1920s she would always bring up a panyolito with her so i asked her why do you bring up panyolito to the carnival because she goes with her friends or with her siblings and there's an area the manila carnival where the single women enter so they would enter and she would bring her panyolito. All the single men would be on the upper level. And they would sprinkle confetti on the women they find pretty. So they would sprinkle confettis. And my grandma said, Commissar, hindi masyado maraming confetti ko. So kunyari, malalaglag yung panyolito ko. <laughs> and she would grab it in this, uh, on the floor together with confettis. And then she would scratch her head, kunyari makate, to add more confetti to her head. Because <laughs> what they would do is paglabas nila no, that air. So you walk it, eh, you walk through it while the guys are throwing confettis on you. When you go out on the other side, you compare. They compare confettis on the head. Oh so she wants, she wants to make sure na mukha siyang maganda. You know, that's a lot of things. <laughs> so they compare. And um, so stories like that. Makes Never. you want to experience. That's a parang ibang klase. Uh -oh. Something that you won't experience nowadays, the uh -oh. at the Man Manila Carnival, they had little booths, you know, like booths mm -hmm. there where, where different um, Filipinos would feature products that they can export. Because we were exporting a lot and importing a lot during that time. So it so people from other nations were also attending. It was really, I'm talking about a lot of people attending. It was like the, the Disneyland of that time. Parang ganun, no? And then at the same time, I would like to sample, like, do you know that San Miguel had different flavors that time? I, I would like beer. to sample. Yeah, the, yeah, I would like to sample all of them and take with me back here some of the vintage bottles, you know? Because uh -oh. they're amazing, you know? Even Royal, what we say Royal True Orange, they had different flavors also at that time. So, Parang ang sarap matikman, di ba? And see what right. they had to offer. At saka okay. yung, alam mo yung bote mismo, valuable. Yes, diba? valuable. valuable yung, and yung it's not bote. even bote, it's the, um, like a pottery. It looks like pottery, eh. You know? Mm -hmm. Parang and, ceramic. And, uh, parang, it's, yeah, clay. Actually, it's more like clay. clay. And then, what's amazing too is like M.Y. San, you know, the biscuit makers, they were manufacturing ice cream that time. Like, I want to sample M.Y. some wow. ice cream. <laughs> <You know? laughs> okay. so, so those are the things I want to try. And I want to uh -oh. enter every shop in um, in Escolta and see what's for sale. Because it's class here, you know? Right. Teka, ha? We have uh, more people saying hello. Um, bon Burgos is watching from Cabanatuan City, Nueva Ecija. Uh, great period in time, the 1920s. He's watching from Muntinlupa City. That's Lou Dags. Okay. And, and one Lou is saying he, he thinks that, that Binibining Pilipinas, the Binibining Pilipinas pageant started in that carnival now. Well, they were not really being sent abroad for international, you know, Miss Universe. Uh -huh. But it's just really, we were so into beauty talaga at that time that to be to be a contestant of mm -hmm. the Madela Carnival beauty, the beauty part, was a big deal. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. at saka ang gaganda naman talaga yung mga nananalo, you know. They come yeah. from good families. It's amazing, you know. So, uh -huh. you know, I would like to watch that as well. You know, a dami kung gustong tanungin, like, pero I'll prioritize my question na, no? Um, pero I'll mention them, no? I, I'm curious what you think is, uh, you know, your favorite fabric, for example. Kasi buong Pilipinas, maraming native na fabric, for example. Anong gusto mong i-revisit na profession na ang, ang lungkot? Kasi because of modernization, wala nang ganong... Uh, job diba, or industry yeah. so anyway my my the question that i really want to devote a little bit of time on now is what are you frustrated about 
as far as history and culture is concerned. Ako, right now, I'll share you, with you mine. Kasi I've been watching Korean telenovelas. <laughs> diba? Anong connection? I don't watch just any Korean tel- telenovela. I watch the historical ones. Okay. And I'm amazed. I'm amazed how, because they have documented their history very well. If you see one telenovela about a king here, and then another telenovela about another king, you know, another period, you'll see the same buildings, the same architecture, the same palace set up, same yung damit. Kasi documented nila yung, yung details na yun. Even the characters, the, you know, the, the members of, of, of the court, for example, and portraits nila. Right. I find it frustrating that much of our history is not recorded or not written. And because of the diversity also, the diversity also, sabay-sabay yung history ng Luzon, for example, and then uh, areas in, in Mindanao, sabay-sabay. I'm frustrated about that. And I wish there was some collective info para balikan, para our filmmakers and storytellers can go back to, Actually, to tell stories. You know what's sad? I think what happened was really World War II affected our country in many ways. We were not able to save a lot, you know, of old documents. Although we do have some still that have, I mean, like I see prints, the way they wore Barong Tagalog in the early 1800s is ibang iba than the way we are envisioning. They had coats about the Barong Tagalog and they some of them wore top hats with it. You know, so if you really do research, you'll find, but it's not as much as you would expect. The problem is, you know, World War II ruined and we didn't really salvage some even old buildings because I'm into really architectural details. You know, I'm I'm so into architectural details. Like, okay, like Serena, I think, uh, <laughs> is um, having technical difficulties right now. Hello, can you hear me? Hey, Rina, maybe Rina will be back. Ayan, are you there? Okay. You're hello, back. hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, you're can back. You oh. Okay, okay. No, I mean, um, it's, uh, I'm really more into, like, I wish World War II did not really happen in our country. And I wish things were salvaged. Pero, madame, we lost a lot, you know. We had such beautiful architectural details in the past. Yun ang, nami, yun ang gusto kong makita, you know, like, it's interesting, you know, in 1999, I battled cancer, you know, and um, whenever I had free time during the weekends, my hubby would say, where would you like to go? And I would always say, take me to St. Paul, Minnesota, because it's the old part of Minnesota. I, w- I just want to go there just to look at, take a look at old buildings. And while looking at the details, I would have tears in my eyes. I know some people like looking at mountains. I like looking at old buildings and looking at oh, the man. little I Italian oil. That. You know? so, so that's the thing. I wish that old parts of the Philippines still exist. I mean, you can mix it with new. It's just a matter of knowing how to blend everything the right way. Pero nasayang eh, you know. You know, wala talaga eh, you know. And, and I also think... Um, we have a commission a manner they 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 establish these uh, heritage places and they protect them they assign guides to talk about them but i think we can do more uh anyway uh i i congratulate them for taking steps I, yeah. i've been to for example uh, i've been to ramon magsaysay's house in zambales okay and, that's and great house that was this place in um taal hindi taal volcano taal town in Batangas. It's like, they call it the poor man's vegan. Pero, ano yun, the relative yun, poor man's vegan? Because if you're from Metro Manila, it will cost you more to go to vegan. Right. Pero, a trip to Taal, Batangas. And it's like vegan. So, right. yun siya. And there are many heritage houses there. Again, um, I, I forget the government uh, body that handles them, pero they are protected and they are well explained. No, the, those are really great. I I wish that we kept, you know, the, in the past, the lights, we, ha- we, had a, we had a group of people in the past during the Spanish era that every night, pagka magiging dark, that they would light up all the street lamps, you know. And uh-huh. I wish that we kept those lamps, even if we turned them to electric, kasi ang ganda ng mga detalye, 
ibang klase, you know, yeah. and um, even old homes in the corners of their houses, meron na protrude na ilaw, you know, na, na uh -huh. street lamp. Sana, yeah. na, sana na preserve lahat yun eh. Kasi it adds yeah. so much character, you know, mm -hmm. to the places. So, yun, I really wish. Sige, ayan. So, ako, ang daming, ang sarap ng usapan na ito. Hindi kasi yung oras. <laughs> pero, ano, we will do, we will um, do our best to, you know, to, to, to pack this as much as possible. But for now, we will go on our last break. Welcome back to U Turn on the new channel. And as our guest is joining us back, I'd like to give a shout out to the following viewers. Jing Sian is watching from Paranaque City. Ayan, admin Jing Sian. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Reggie Ocampo is saying, Good to see you, Rina. San si Rina. Balik ka na, Rina. Watching from Stuttgart, Stuttgart, Germany. Ah, oh, hindi yan Stuttgart. Hi, Reggie. Stuttgart. <laughs> yeah, he's an old friend, old, old friend. Nice. Yeah. Old friends are a treasure. Yes. Rosette yes. Guerrero is saying hi, Rina. Hi, Tita. <laughs> and Margarita. Hello, Tita. Kitita, kitita. Margarita Isulan is saying hi, hi. Rina. Always keep, keep safe. Po. <laughs> Nato, uh, our history major here, is saying much of the pre exist much of the existing pre-war architecture are either influenced yes. by the Spanish and the Americans. Practically all our provincial capitals were designed by American architects. Yes. Oh, nga, kahawig sila, no? <laughs> yeah. Government buildings sa U.S. Many Art Deco heritage sites are still standing in Manila today. Yes, madalas po ako sa Maynila, I still see them. Uh oh, ayan. Thank you, Nato. So, so nice of you to contribute. Okay, so Rina, real quick, I have some photos yeah. here. I'd like you to give a sentence or two lang, no? Because we're okay. uh, about to wrap okay. up the show. Can you guys That's hear me? About... Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, this one was um this was shortly after the Spanish American War, I believe. I cannot say so, like, well. Yeah, 1898. 1898, yeah. Yeah. This was when the Americans already entered our our country. You know, so a lot of soldiers came after they conquered and they came the more they came and um yeah. So this all right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so let's move to the Sorry. next one. We have a few more. Eh? Ah, sige. Oh, this, wait, I cannot see too well. I do apologize. So is it's this, okay. I believe this is in Escolta, if I'm not wrong. I cannot see mm -hmm. too well right now. But yeah, these are, um, like, you can see some shops on this side. You know what's funny? Like, you can see shops, but it's the ng shops and yung mga doctor's clinics. The, the doctors, the, they had their own clinics, you know, parang bahay. You know, you go to them and everything. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Yeah. Nakatuwa, ano. Yeah, it's so different. Uh -oh. next, next picture, please. So if you want to see more of these pictures and if you want to learn more, join the group. Ha. Oh, these are Ayan. these are um uh, uh bowls that together with others that were discovered not too long ago um in um 
Pandana. Pan- Pan- yeah. Pandana. Pan- yes. yes. And uh, oh my, these are really rare. You know, they're, you know, yes. I have some excavated jars here as well in my place. Mm-hmm. And um, one of them is a Chinese, old Chinese jar with the swastika on the side. Oh, oh ma. Is it a what what was that? Um, what Da Vinci Code? Is it the Da Vinci Code? One of those uh, films of that series. Pinakita yung swastika naka up close. Pero people always thought it was a German thing. Pero nung nag zoom out dun sa photo, it was actually a Chinese uh, yeah yeah Chinese thing. Yeah, it was already in existence prior to Hitler using it. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. yeah. It was a recent find. How about this? Oh, this is like um, during the American period. This is a sampler of a, this is rare. This was uh, auctioned off not too long ago. It's a license plate, a sampler license plate. Yeah, the last zero, you know, in oh. 1936. And um, this is so rare because uh, the numbers and it's the sampler. So this was auctioned off. This got sold for a lot of money. <laughs> So, 36 is the year. Sample nga siya, di ba? Parang prototype. So, 36 is the year. And then, of course, you have Manila, the city. Yeah. PI is Philippine Islands? Yes, Philippine Islands. I wish we still are Philippine Islands to this day because we are made up of islands, you know. Oh, That's yeah. one of the unique, unique qualities of our country, you know. So, right. Yeah. And then, the next photo... Oh, that's this um, is, again. This is just a sample, no. It, it's not that we're singling the person out, pero it's one but, of the many personalities you can. Yeah, see. George Stray again. And then if you see that girl there, that um, that's my good friend Jeanette or her sito. She's also a member of a group. Yeah, Georgina Uh-oh. is her real name, Georgina. So that's okay. her dad, George. Hi, Ger- Hi Georgina, Jeanette. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, sa mga kabataan dyan, kung hindi nyo alam, George Stragan was an actor, no? Uh, he's known for action films. So, yes. uh, Okay. Just a, a couple more. One or two more. Oh, the, the big stars of the 80s, you know. They were blockbuster <laughs> stars. I'm sure you right. know their names. I don't need to name them. Uh-oh. But, yeah, there are those. Are, Sige you know. nga, i-comment nyo nga, mga viewers natin, sino po itong nasa cover ng Flash Magazine. <laughs> Naabutan ko naman po itong Flash Magazine na ito. So, yeah, once upon a time, there was Flash Magazine. Yeah, and this was 1980s. You can see the poofy hairstyles and the padded shoulders, you know. Yeah, the outfit. Yes. Right. And then, finally... Ah, <laughs> that was me taking a while back. <laughs> it was also like in the, I think this is late eighties or yeah. You can see the poofy mm. hairstyle also, poofy. Oh, so ladies and gentlemen, just just to be clear, Serena Puyan, and and she was in the cover of a few magazines, I think, in her in her youth. At saka, so you're seeing her eyes now, kasi nakasunglasses si Rina ngayon because uh, her eyes are sensitive to light, and so yes. she has to wear the sunglasses uh, during the interview. Yes, I, I yeah, I'm, I'm, like, that, diba? yeah I'm, fo- I'm photosensitive, because when I battled cancer in 1999, they had to pass through the radiation had to pass through my eyes. I'm not complaining, okay? That's the reality. And I'm just so used to wearing this special type of lenses now. So, mm-hmm. Ayon. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> May mga comments pa ulit dito. Oh. Um, hope not to be forgotten. Sabi ni Maria Elena. Uh, of course, Wanlu, alam niya kung sino yun. Buhay na buhay na si Wanlu nung panahon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sharon, Vilma, and Nora. Yes. Uh, and Heidi is saying, "Wow, beautiful! That's you, Miss Nina." Hi, Heidi. <laughs> and Juanlu says, "That's the superstar of only in the Philippines." <laughs> no, no, but um, you know, I really, I am so grateful for one thing. I have to say, it's not easy to run sure. a group. Hindi madale, you know, because you you invest hours per day and you try with 20, 26,000 members. There are so many comments to go through questions to answer every day but we are so devoted we really give our all because we want everybody to enjoy the group talaga and i want to take this opportunity to thank talaga the two admins um jose archangel i call him archangel villanueva and jing sian and also the two moderators 
um, Dean Dobales and Yang Arabit because they also invest a lot of time. It's not really easy. Lana with us, we make sure we take shifts because we cover both U foreign time, U.S. time, and Philippine time. So we have our hours where we're monitoring the group. So oh, wow, that's so, nice. Yeah, we really are very organized. Oh, organized, we, no. We try our best to make to make sure everything's in order. You know. Oh, oh. okay. Last few comments. Uh, may isa pa from Gary Tarla. Hi, Rina. So proud to be part of your. Hi, family. Gary. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. glad you're part of it. Thank you. Oh. So, Rina. Let's invite let's invite our viewers to join the FB group. Yes, if you guys watch the the jingle earlier, it says it all. Join, try sample it, sample the group. You know, it's really like being a big barcada. You know, we travel back in time together and enjoy it together, reminisce right. together. So, I hope you all would give it a try. You know, try to sample it. And and. We are all encouraged. I'm a member of the group. And I discovered this pala. I'm, I'm a, I've been a member of the group. Si Rina pang alagsabi sa akin. I've been a member <laughs> since, since December daw. Okay. And, and, and we are encouraged. So I'm addressing the viewers now. We are encouraged to contribute. You know, if, if we have photos or we can, if we have certain objects at home and we can take a photo of them. And if we have a story to tell about, uh, you know, that object words maybe that you use like ako natutuwa ako pag kinukuwento ko sa mga kaibigan ko nung bata pa ako nandito pa yung lola ko sa house namin right. we called the can opener the abrelata yes. the, the, the cupboard we called it a parador the the yung hamper ang tawag namin ropero to this day ropero ang tawag namin sa kanya Tapos tatataka ko bakit yung classmates ko sa school, hindi nila alam yung ropero. And I didn't know any other word for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lakas na kaso siya, la, pati yung, ano, yung labakara. Yung labakara? Oh my <laughs> gosh, I haven't heard that for a while. <laughs> labakara. Face towel po yun. Yes. Laba is wash, kara is face. Labakara, kaya face towel. I mean, many of our Spanish words naman, of course, are obviously borrowed, pero sometimes some of them are karabaw. It's not grammatically correct but it's how we've adapted yes. uh, or adopted the language into yes. ours. So yeah, and these are just some insights and these are some of the things that we can talk about in a group, how we can contribute. And we are so, I'm happy that you guys welcome contributions like that. So I'm excited. No, <laughs> no I'm glad. And, and we do have themes that from time to time. Like there was one time we encouraged everybody to share a photo of their pets. And, and, you know, kind of mention something about their pets. So we do that also from time to time. Or photos taken when they got married, their wedding photos. Right. So, so we do have themes from time to time. And just to recap, we cover what, what topics or what areas of history and culture, Rina? Yes. We covered everything from, I mean, mostly focused on the 1920s, though, but about the mm -hmm. past and what the group is really all about. You know, mm -hmm. how it got started, what encouraged us to start it. And the difference, the unique qualities that our group has over others. Right. You know. And um, we include, so parang history, culture, food, music, and art, and literature, even yes. artists. No? Yes. artists. That's why Juan Lu is there in the video. And also yeah, all, all the gifts, all the gifts of the members, yes. we try to present to everybody because that's part of our country. And we're proud, you know. So so that's one thing that we, we focus on also. Ayan. Okay. Only Thank in the Philippines very, talaga. Only in the Philippines. Thank you very much, Rina. Ako, ako bitin. Ako personally bitin ako. So, <laughs> <laughs> mas siguro pagpapatuloy natin yung discussion doon sa group. And, and uh, Rina has other stories to share also pa um, about other aspects of her life. She mentioned she was ill with cancer. That's another story to tell. So I think Rina has agreed to to guest with us again. In the yeah, future. sure. Yeah, I'm looking right. forward to it. Thank you. Si Rina, <laughs> <All right. So laughs> thank you once again for staying up. It is now, what, 10.30 in the evening uh, over there, past 10.30 yes. in the evening in Minnesota. Thank you so much well, for staying Thank you, Carmine. I appreciate it, and I, I um, thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank All you so right. much. Okay. Thank you, Rina. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you.
Uh, diba? Ladies and gentlemen, that was Rina Estrella Gustilo, founder of Only in the Philippines. 26,000 followers meron doon sa group. Members, actually. If it's a group, then you have members. So it's not just a page. So I hope you guys join, <laughs> sabi ni Nato Agbayani. More, more! <laughs> o, diba? Sana may part two, diba? It's, it's a fun story. I think these are fun stories to revisit yung yung ano itsura ng mga produkto noon, ano itsura ng mga certain lugar noon, di ba? Dami, dami. Um, it would not do justice kapag nag-devote tayo sa isa lang. Maraming magandang pag-usapan. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I did. I am also a fan of history, lalo na yung, yan, yung, yung mga black and white photos pa, yung mga stories behind it. Gusto ko yan. And, and how people live their lives uh, before ng panahon ng gera or even before gera. Uh, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, no, I, I'm frustrated na we've lost much of the the recorded history. Pero there are ways pa rin to research, sabi nga nila. Okay, so I let you guys have lunch now. Remember to leave your interpretation of our quote in the comment section. Our quote is, ang hindi, yeah, ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa Share, share our live stream and leave your interpretation in the comment section of the main live stream. Okay, and then before I let you go, just a reminder, we have shows coming up today. We have HR Hotline at 12 o'clock. We also have Ayano. HR Hotline is coming up at 12 o'clock. And also uh, we have later today, YOLO. 5.30 p.m. and also after shift. I believe <laughs> after shift today. And I invite you on Monday. My guest on Monday is no less than Jason Zamora. Okay, Jason Zamora of Maneuvers fame, one of the OGs of uh, Maneuvers. He'll talk about his journey naman and, you know, from being a newbie to being an OG. Kung hindi alam ibig sabihin ng OG, Sabihin ko sana, i-research nyo, pero sabihin ko na lang, original gangster, o oh, ba? Sing sabi ng mga kabataan ngayon, dapat alam niyo ibig sabihin yan. OG, original gangster. <laughs> but it just means lodi or somebody who's an expert, somebody who's seasoned and who has been around. Okay, I've said too much. Thank you very much to our uh, production team. Thank you for your support. Again, thank you to our guest, Trina Australia Agustillo, and to you, our viewers. Thank you. I'll see you again on Monday. Happy lunch. Bye.